Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're going to discuss what can you learn from case studies? Why are they important? So number one thing you learn is which questions to ask. This is extremely important because it helps you to understand what questions you need to ask for your company. Each case study is like a story about one or several business models. And so if you understand which questions to ask for the example, you can then adapt to your own situations. And if you don't know which questions to ask, what does it mean? That means you can't create the right inputs to your financial model and you can't build the right logic. Questions is the absolute critical starting point to a financial model creation. How to convert decisions into assumptions, right? So you may have a lot of ideas and a vision in terms of how to build your company, but now you have to convert your ideas into numbers. It's hard to put concrete values to ideas. However, if you see examples and you understand the process behind it, it becomes a lot easier to formulate your own assumptions based on your strategic decisions. How to build business logic correctly, right? What is business logic? Business logic converts financial model inputs into financial results. You can think of it as the engine of your company, which is coded in a financial model. And so uh, it's like the brain, right? And so if you build it correctly, you will have an amazingly incredible business intelligence tool you can use to evaluate the effectiveness of your strategy. You can learn which KPIs to consider. Financial analysis is absolutely critical to your company's success. If you don't understand which metrics to track, you can't know how well your business is doing. Examples specific to a business model from a case study will help you figure out what is important for your venture because you can adapt. You can also learn how much money to raise, right? The amount of capital you need to raise determines on the milestones you're trying to reach. So we're going to talk about that as well as how not to miss any funding needs. If you understand the process behind determining a funding needs for another company, you can easily do it for your own. And finally, and very importantly, you're going to really understand how the model is built technically. If you're not a finance person, it is hard to decode a full financial model. So using a walkthrough where you're going to gain an understanding how all of the pieces work together and the rationale behind all formulas will make it easier for you to customize this model to your own needs. Our solution are two case studies a software case study covering SaaS and advertising business models, and a product case study covering four distribution channels, online, events, sales reps, and wholesale. Both case studies come with a complete and functional financial model template. The only thing is that you must know accounting, financial modeling, and valuation in order to customize those templates to your needs. And here you go. If you like this video, please uh, like it, share it with your colleagues, subscribe to our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos every week. And to learn more about the course, click in the link in the description. Thank you. And I will see you next week.